In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable a profile image uh, for the Power Pages site. So I have created one Power Pages site. So I'm in a designer studio. And when I run the site, I get to see this home page. Okay. Now I have enabled authentication. So I'll just sign in and I'll use Azure AD to sign into my system. I've already put the credentials. So that's why it will log me automatically inside the system. And I can see this is the name through which I have uh, been logged into the system and I'll go to the profile page. Now watch what happens over in the profile page. Now this is my image. So this is the default image which comes with the profile. Now I can't do anything on this. So if you see here, I can't do anything. It's a square box. I can't do, uh, I can't edit this image. Now, how do I go and <coughs> uh, edit this image? So uh, for that, uh, I may need to do some settings uh, and that setting is uh, I need to go into the site settings. So if I navigate to the power pages management site, which I can navigate using here, can go to the portal management through a design studio. And once I'm in the site, I will go into site settings. And first I'll check if there is a site setting called as profile. I can see profile enabled, profile for sign up, profile show marketing options. But what I want is something called as profile show image. Now that is not there. So if it is not there, I'll try to add it. And if it is there, then you need to just enable it. So this is the setting which I will put profile slash show image. Okay. Website is the neon website. Value is true. Okay, so that's the setting I'll put. Description I can just leave as it is. And I save and close. The moment I do that, I need to go back into Design Studio and sync the change. <clears throat> now, once the syncing uh, of configuration happens, uh, ideally, what should happen is I should be able to uh, change the profile image. Let's wait for some more time to get this configured. I think the configuration is done. So let's navigate to home first and see whether you're logged in or not. I'm not logged in. I will log into the system again. Use Azure AD and I can go into the profile. And now you see the square uh, image has converted into circle. And now here I get an edit icon. If I click on this edit icon, I can upload an image or I can remove the image. So if I upload an existing image, I can remove that image as well. So uh, that's how you can upload your profile image in Power Pages site. So this option is not enabled by default, but if you put that setting, uh, and the setting is uh, profile slash show image. And if you put the setting as true, then it will allow you to change the image. Now, what if you don't want people to change the image, then uh, you can set this value as false. So value of false, as well as not having this value in the site setting will uh, not enable the profile edit option for image uploading. So that's it, folks. Uh, thanks for watching.